Along with Colby Armstrong and Todd Warner, just looking at that graphic and just hearing how people have talked about you all season long, one of the things that they, a lot of people always say is Thomas Shabbat is one of the best players not in the NHL right now. When you hear that, what do you think? Well, obviously it's always it's always great to, uh, to hear things like that about me, but uh, at the end of the day, like you just said, I'm the only one who... Uh, the best player not playing in the NHL right now. My goal at the start of the year was to play in the NHL. Uh, I had the chance to start it, uh, start the season up there, learn a lot about myself on and off the ice, but I just try to brought it, bring everything back uh, in junior and have a great year. Obviously, I, I had the chance to go play World Juniors in Toronto and Montreal, which was a great experience. And here I am with my junior team at the Merrill Cups. So I'm just trying to enjoy uh, Enjoy every experience as I can get. Yeah, great experience, a great year. You guys seem to breeze through the, you know, the season and the playoffs. Not much adversity. You come in here, 0-2 off the start, 12 goals, and you had to play the very next game, an elimination game, facing adversity for the kind of the first time with your team. What, what was that like with your group? Well, obviously it was pretty hard. It's pretty. Uh, everyone was really frustrated. Uh, everyone was embarrassed after that game. It's. it's uh, for the majority of the guys on our team, it's been probably 10 years since the last time we lost 12 to 5 in a game. So, uh, but no, we we just knew that the, the next day was a new day. We just tried to bounce back, and uh, I was pretty happy the way that the other guys uh, bounced back, especially our goalie, Callum Booth. Uh, we know that it's very hard for a goalie the next day after you get pulled twice in a game. Um, but no, he did an amazing job. We gave a lot of credit to the to our goalie, and uh, I'm really proud of the way we came back against uh, the. Uh, so talk about your time in Ottawa, what you learned and what management or the coaching staff wanted you to work on when you came back to junior. Well, they told me, obviously, I'm a, I'm a good player with the puck, but the thing I got to work on is in my own zone, uh, playing stronger on blocks, harder in the corner. So that's something I've uh, I've worked a lot with the coaches here in St. John. And uh, I'm just I'm just trying to be a, a better two-way defenseman. I know from watching hockey on TV and everything, that you need to be good, solid in both, uh, both zones and to be playing in NHL. So that's something I'm working a lot on to bring back uh, to camp next year. You know, one of the new things about the St. John Sea Dogs, if you get a chance to watch them live at the opening faceoff, as a five man unit, you all come up to center ice and then you all fade back and go into position. Who came up with that? We've never seen that before. You barking at them? Are you barking? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's our D coach, uh, Paul Boudier. Uh, uses a lot of different things, but they always work. We uh, It wasn't the first time we did that all year. Uh, it's a good way to shut down a, a, a player, especially like Barzal, that likes to come down low. Comes back to you know, his own zone uh, to get more speed. So it was a good way to try to shut him down. And I think uh, uh, it, it worked for last night. It didn't work against Erie, but uh, it's something that we're going to bring up again for sure. Well, listen, uh, good luck tomorrow against uh, whomever you end up playing here, either Erie or Windsor. If I put you on the spot, will you answer if I ask you who would you rather play, Windsor or Erie? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to answer that. I'm sorry. Okay, you are ready for the NHL. That's a good answer.